Welcome to Media Pool. In this video essay, I will choose two of my three videos and make comparative analysis depending on the making and promotion of them. I will firstly focus on analyzing the making and promotion of these two videos in terms of subscriptions, shares, likes, and comments. The most prominent feature of each video and its further reasons will be analyzed as well. In the second part, the analyzing focus will be put on the promotion. I will analyze the successful aspects and failures of promotion in accordance to the data of views and promotion platforms. Among the three videos, Media Geek Video, which is an educational video aiming for a general audience, gained the most views while on the lowest level of audience engagement. In comparison, Media Culture Video's views are less than Media Geek Video, while it had the highest engagement rate. In Media Geek Video, I introduced the differences between indie film and independent film to illustrate and demonstrate the idea clearly. Personal narration, screen recording, images, examples, and pen casting were employed in the making. The Media Culture Video is a cooking vlog about me cooking scouts, the Liverpool's traditional dish, following a recipe named the World's Best Scouts Recipe revealed by Liverpool FC. The content includes two parts. The first part is about the process of cooking and the second part is about tasting. There are some close shots of scouts and the tasting part is presented in a relatively funny way rather than a serious review, which may add some entertainment value and enhance the enjoyment of watching. According to the case study drawing on the categorization of YouTube videos presented by Sharma and L. Jesse, the how-to type of video is found to generate the most positive comments. It explains why the media culture video gained the most positive comments and highest engagements. All the 20 comments are positive and three of them convey the willing to try this recipe. And there is one comment stating that she is cooking with the recipe now. Though the video is not named starting with how-to, while it is actually a video about how to make scouts. Furthermore, evoking some sort of emotion is one of principles of what makes content contagious and emotional things usually get shared. I use the words best in the title intended to arise audience curiosity. The whole video hires a funny style since I want to create a relaxed and happy atmosphere which may cheer our audience. Media culture video eventually gained the highest audience engagement among three videos. It seems this type of video is more engaging with a general audience, and the vlogging style succeeds in establishing a more actual interactive relationship between me and audience. It is stated that, in current literature on participatory culture, network populace, and collective intelligence, it is often claimed that digital arenas such as YouTube are marked by high levels of engagement in the creations of others, of strong peer support, and of the passing along of knowledge from the experience to the newcomers. The theory corresponds to the phenomenon that my video's promotion is actually primarily based on peer and family support. According to the survey conducted by Crane and Sornet, collective action sometimes drives the activity to be spread in a broader scale. Though I promoted the video in four platforms including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and WeChat, the promotion in platforms other than WeChat actually didn't work well, while WeChat promotion contributed the most views and feedback to videos. For example, according to the screenshots of watch time of Media Geek video, the figure of views keep going down to zero from January 4th to January 10th, while surging from January 11th to January 13th to over 120. I posted relative link and promotional text in Facebook and Twitter on January 7th, while there are very little people watching the video. Then, I posted again on WeChat on January 20th, and the number of views started surging and reached the peak. I think it's because all of my friends and families have WeChat accounts, while little of them use Facebook or Twitter. In addition to the support from my friends and families, there is also support from their friends and families. As it is shown in the screenshots of geography, there are audience from Hong Kong, United Kingdom, United States, Australia, and Canada. They take the initiative to share my videos, which further increases the views. 
It reflects the societal impact of communication, since the most important dimension of communication convergence occurs within individual consumers and through their social interaction with others. It is suggested that once this first round of followers sees the video, some will again repost the link to it, which can result in many people simultaneously broadcasting it into their networks in a kind of many-to-many -many communication. It is my friends and family's active sharing that contributes to the surging views of the Media Geek video. Both two videos had a call to action. They similarly called audience to subscribe the channel, give likes, and leave comments if they found the video helpful or amusing. The calls were presented by me as the presenter in the ending of videos. The action tends to generate a sincere feeling for audience, which may effectively encourage audience to again evaluate the video consciously and therefore enhance their interest in responding to my course. However, media cultural video gained far more comments than media gig video, since vlogging addresses to the viewer directly and is effective in inviting feedback. While traditional media content doesn't explicitly invite conversational and intercreative participation. Besides, I also noticed that I only left a general course in media gig video, while I left a more specific questions in the course to action within media culture video. Leaving specific questions seems as if a more specific instruction for audience of what to comment, and that is effective in creating a sense of interaction. The action may better arise audience interest to comment. I found some aspects that prevent the videos to gain more views and engagement. Except WeChat, I have little followers on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram who will watch and promote the video. The target audience of my two videos are general audience who understand English, whereas a large proportion of my audience are my family members and their friends who do not understand English. To some extent, the language barrier prevents their engagement with videos, especially media gig video, which requires audience ability to understand my narration. Moreover, YouTube is actually blocked in China. Many of my friends and families found it difficult in getting access to YouTube. Even though they share the videos with others, other people may not be willing to waste time and energy in figuring out how to access to YouTube. To a large degree, that prevents the further increasing of videos' views and engagement. If I want to gain a higher views and engagement rate for my video in the future, except making higher quality video, I might also need to be carefully match the target audience to the actual receiver, considering both their geography and cultural background. In conclusion, both media geek and media culture video gained views mainly thanks to the mass communication among my peers and families and their friends. Media cultural video has the highest engagement because it's more attractive in content and requires the weakest ability to understand language. This has been Xiao Shen Chen for Media Pool. If you like this video, please click like, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.